All right, this is Shane with The Rational Trader. It is Tuesday. Bonus points if you can name this song. February 5th. Uh, and this is one of the days where it's hard. All right, so max loss in oil. Took two losses. To take a quick look at those. Um, nothing showed up in either of the currencies. The, the screen looks a little different here because I've got the currencies in the upper left now. These are live accounts, but there were no trades today. Um, and then a, uh, a single trade in gold, which was a loss. And then I'm, I'm doing SIM on the NASDAQ. We'll look at that in just a minute. Um, first, let's um, look at the currency. This is a uh, Euro. So not taking a trade in this choppy, ugly, hideous mess is the right thing to do. I like that. And then, I'm sorry, that's the yen. This is the Euro. Um, let's see. Oh, this had some movement, so let's see. Mm, some potential here, but then this ugliness here. I, you know, I, I'm doing the right thing by just staying away, just staying away from that. So if we don't get that uh, that nice fall here, this is the only decent move. You can see it as a human. You like this, right? You like that nick, that failure to go high, and right about on that bar, you'd be thinking, hmm. But you likely you'd want to see that break. So really, it's it's the next bar, and you can see the machine's looking there. It, it didn't see a pattern that said to do anything. Um, not till the next code. We're not trading that code. Um, okay. So then, uh, and then in gold, gold. This is an ugly mess too, right? So it actually it starts here, and the, the market just doesn't do anything all day, and we get long right there. As a human, that looks perfectly reasonable to me. That's like a Fibonacci pullback. Um, instead, it just it falls and then chops sideways in a reasonably big range. What is that? 320 to 1320? To th no, not really. There's only 30 ticks there. So if you if you just just a rule of thumb, if you just take the top and bottom, you could you can reasonably expect to get half of that. All right, so that's, you know, 1320 to 1317. So that's 35-ish ticks. So 17, you're risking seven. It's not worth doing. Um, something to think about. It'll help, it'll help you see this and go, okay, well, there's there was no money to be made there. Don't try. Uh, oil. Oil is the one that was painful today. Let's take a look here. Let's see. So I got long here. The machine got long here after a pretty long move. So as a human, I would have trouble taking that trade. Um, I've seen that uh, work out pretty well though. So I don't wanna, I'm not gonna second guess what the machine's doing. The one you wanted was right there. The machine's looking, it doesn't see a pattern. The, the, the bar is orange, that's what that orange means. That's a little bit of a, uh, the reason you want that is, of course, because that's where it bottomed out. But you can see you're, you're, you've tested that low at the value area edge, value area low, and the overnight low. You're awfully close to the POC, though, so risky trade. Stay out of this, stay out of this ugliness here, so that's good news. Take a late long, I think. And then kind of the same thing as we saw in the, the market, right, where you, you don't nick it here. You fail to, you fail to break the high. So you, you, as a human, you might start thinking about it right there or there. Um, terrible places to enter because you're right at, the, right at the point of control. And then let's see. These are nice looking signals to get, to catch that move. I took another tr tr trade here somewhere. Oh, I'm down here. All right, so just before 9 o'clock, along there, the market's just going to continue to fall here. It's sort of a slow grind lower. Okay, so two losses there, and then it doesn't matter what happened next, we're just done. Um, all right, so when I say this is hard, what I mean is not, hey, I took a loss. You sort of expect to take a loss, but um, one of the things we talk about is follow your plan. And the what the machine learning system does for you is it it forces that because it, it it's doing it's making all the decisions, right? The plan you've made is long before we've turned the system on, right? And so it t there, for me, 
like this is a simulation run that I've used as part of the process to, to come up with you know, the, the way the machine learning system behaves. And so, I mean, I'll run this and I'll talk here for five or 10 seconds. And while I'm doing that, this is gonna do a simulation across six months using a set of uh, behaviors that, that we've defined. You can kind of see them poking out right there. Um, and if I don't like what I see, then I can make an adjustment or actually what's actually happening is I'm going through a series of, of runs, picking out the, uh, the behaviors that look like they have the most repeatability and then combining them together to see if they negate each other or amplify each other or how do they behave and I get and I get this answer and if I don't and if I don't like the answer I can just do that cycle again and again and again until so the point is I'm getting immediate feedback all right on good or bad and then I take an action based on that feedback when you're trading live you don't get that because the feedback here is, oh, this is ugly, but there's nothing, I can't do anything, or, or rather, I shouldn't do anything. Because the temptation is I took a loss, go do something to, uh, so that I don't take that loss again. Or if I miss a move, do something so I don't miss that move again. So there's a temptation here to go, all right, well, I will go and um, you know, add, oh, well, that's, that's before the trading time here. Um, I'll go and add something so I catch that 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 turn, or I'll uh, I'll get long on 164s now, and you'll just do that, and you'll feel good because you took an action, but you actually have no idea that's a good idea or not. Now I do because I can I can go run. Well, how well does the 164 code do over in general over time? Um, I have that data. It went into the pro it went into the the mix to create the the trading, I guess the trading plan for the machine learning system. But as a human, you shouldn't do that, right? You should, you have a plan, you're just, now your job is just to execute it. So it's tough on, on, on a day like this where basically it was all ugly and you want to do something about that and the thing that you're supposed to do is nothing. Just the next day I turn it on because it takes time. It, you, you, the, the simulation run is running six months worth of trading in 10 seconds, but we have to live life in real time. Um, and when you're not, when you're actively trading, when you're the person making the decision, you have to deal with that second by second. And so now with the machine learning system making all those decisions, I only have to deal with it once at the end of the day where I look at it and I go, all right, this is great, or oh, this is meh, or eh, whatever. Um, and then only then do you have to control yourself, just that one input to your emotional machinery. Okay, um, let's take a quick look at NASDAQ because I'm simming this now with some uh, analysis based on um, the process we're using now. This market is still very, very wild and crazy, so I don't really have any idea um, how it's gonna work for real. And, and even though the, the analysis looks really good, the problem is that I'm concerned that this market is so volatile that um, we're just finding patterns in random data. And if that's the case, then as we apply that to you know, future data, future days, then it, it's just random. So uh, there were no, tra no trades taken today. So none of, these, none of these codes that are showing up here are in the plan to execute. And We're just gonna see now. There's a lot, man. There's a lot of movement. You can see why I've been staying away from it. My my plan for this market is running at. Uh, it's very conservative. It's um, where is it? It's hiding right back there. NQ. It's at nine point nine point four percent risk factor. So what that means is that across the 117 days that were analyzed for trading. Uh, using the set of behaviors I'm using, I took a max loss only 9.4% of the time. That's what that risk factor means. 3.1 means averaging three trades a day. So that's the average. Okay, so today was zero. So some other day <laughs> will be more, assuming the average holds. Okay, all right, that's it for today. So stay the course. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm, I, I've got this experiment now running through the end of February. So we've... Uh, we took our learnings from December and January and combined and refined, and now we're uh, 
now we now we have to go through this daily process, right? We don't we don't get the 10 second feedback. It's, it's every day. All right, that is it for today. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.